Hey everyone, I'm already prepared for our new makeup video tutorial. So as you know, on myself I usually try to do some more simple makeup because frankly as a professional, on myself first I do not like to do makeup, second my hands are training to do makeup on someone else and on myself it's frankly pretty hard to do but I still want to do a video for you and I still want to have uh, and I still want to give inspiration to you for some eye makeup because there are so much uh, reviews on different products and not so much inspirational makeup on YouTube. So I decided to do a little video about my lastest obsession and today we will talk a little about Huda Beauty Obsession Palette. So a lot of you write to me in private messages something like, okay, uh, you're always doing like a warm makeup tutorial, do something like in rosy colors, in mouth colors, in some cold uh, colors makeup and I decided to do for you some mauve uh, makeup tutorial. So let's back to our makeup and uh, I already used my Topaz palette. I want to do some smoky black silver smoky eyes with my smoky palette and uh, but I have to have really a lot of time to do some makeup on myself because it's not so fast. It is not as much fast as I can do on the clients because on myself I really have to spend a lot of time to do some eye makeup but again let's back to them. Uh, so today I want to demonstrate you my mouth uh, Huda Beauty Obsession palette and this one is a really pretty palette and I think that this one is more uh, for girls uh, from Ukraine, from Russia, from Belarus, for girls who have very light skin tone and very cold skin tone and this palette is truly perfect and today I want to mix uh, Huda Beauty eyeshadows with my favorite Inglot pigments and today we will use one 33 number of pigments from Inglot to create some evening beautiful glittery eyes. So first of all as eyeshadow base I will use Paint Pot Paint Relief from MAC all over my eye. For today I will use, as always, my favorite Barocco brushes and it's uh, these my two favorites in number 289, like a flat blending brush and another one for packing eyeshadow is number 214 for some more intense eyeshadows on your eyes. Let's start. Next color I will use, it will be this middle color for my crease uh, color on my eyes. As always, I start from building a shape for my eyes. And first I have to do, I have to cover my hooded eye and with a flat brush. I just cover everything what I want to hide on my eyes. Next what we will add this dark burgundy color and I will apply it under my low lash line and as you know on my eyes I truly like to drop down this shape to open my eyes in more intensity I apply under my lower lash line and only a little what I have I put on my cut crease line. So as you can see we create like a light frame on our eyes. So now on your lid you can apply everything you want. It can be some purplish, it can be warmish, it can be a green color, whatever. But for now, as we agreed before, we will use this beautiful Inglot pigment in uh, number 133. It's like goldish burgundy color, a very beautiful one. And to apply it on your lid, you need any kind of uh, eyeshadow base or eyeshadow glue, so you can fix it on your eyes and pack it on your lid. So let's start to do that. So as you see, we're done with our makeup, our eye makeup and you can see that it's pretty fast and beautiful, very glittery, very duochromy eyes we received and only 
one thing left is what I wanted to do with this makeup is to separate my eyes exact eyes from my lash line and you can do it with any eye pencil you want with black and brown bluish whatever i will choose this beautiful dark violet color which very suits to my t-shirt for today so i will use this maybelline pencil in color amethyst rich amethyst it's tattoo pencil line which very long wearing and very beautiful on your eyes so i will use this one in my waterline and blend it a little in my lower lash line Pretty damn, this makeup it's only mascara left. So we're done with our makeup and you can see how nice mascara adds this volume to our eyes and you can see how beautiful it is. Frankly, camera cannot give you all color transactions which I have, but it's really very beautiful pinkish goldish undertone duo tone which you can use for everyday so on my lips i do not like to apply a lot of uh, anything frankly oh so i will not add on my lips any contour or any dark color because i just do not like it on myself so i will use only a lipstick in color pink plate uh, from MAC and I also do not want to apply it like straightly to my lips. I do not want to use any contour on myself also so I put it on my hand and just with clean finger I want to tap it in my lips to add some color so it can be as natural as it possible just with a right undertone which i want to see on myself <laughs> so this sort of makeup i want to recommend to you with this makeup you can easily apply it on yourself go out and do not worry that you do not look uh, as much beautiful as you want so this is very nice rosy goldish duotone makeup which is intense enough but not too much if you know what i'm speaking about and it still will attract all eyes which you have around girls boys whatever also i want to speak a little bit about lashes because in my few last makeup tutorials you can see that i do not apply any fake lashes and frankly it's all because i'm really tired because of lashes everyone wants lashes everyone wants fake lashes and it's really do not look uh, beautiful or natural or whatever for me if i'm speaking about myself only i will choose some clumsy mascara some clumsy lashes which will give me more natural eyes instead of lashes which will cover everything in my eyes which will cover every eye makeup tutorial which I created for you so that is why I prefer more clumsy lashes instead of fake lashes okay, uh, I think that's for today it's pretty enough for us to speak about some makeup stuffs and I really hope that you like this makeup so put a thumbs up and write the comments under and for me it's really important every comment you write because we try to put up our content and we try to put up up our channel which was popular before 10 years ago but so, just i'm very thankful for every like you put for every comment you write and i'm usually answer to everyone who write me in direct message who write me in the comments under a video thank you so much for that so i just uh, probably have to tell you to visit my instagram page working page where you can find a lot of inspiration because it's different type of work in makeup when you work on yourself and when you work on models or when you work in school and you can create whatever you want believe me my hands after 12 or 11 years of practice are creating to do makeup on someone else not on me because believe me that on me it's a really hard to do makeup on myself so if you want to get an inspiration uh, go on instagram page thank you for watching thank you for staying with us so long period and bye bye